Um, Wasteland 2. So what are the, you know, is it, what's the difference between how flexible it is to work on a game like Wasteland 2, um, where you're only beholden to your fans instead of, you know, big time publishers and investors? Is there a difference, do you feel? Yeah, there's a huge difference. Um, so it breaks down to this. Uh, when you're working with a publisher, you have to answer to two masters. One is the publisher itself, and then once the game is released or it's shown, you have to answer to the players as well. So um, with Kickstarter and Wasteland 2, the only people we're answering to is to the players, and we would have had to answer to them anyway, but now we have a much more direct dialogue with them, and they are the ones financing our project. Like, I think the, the, the publisher model is pretty much flawed. Like, what they do is they enter into a contract with a developer sort of on a gamble system. They're like, you know what? We think, we think this is a project that players might pay for. We think this might be a project that they'd be willing to shell out money for. Kickstarter kind of removes that question from the equation, and we just directly ask the players, hey, would you finance this game? Like, sure, you wouldn't give us $20 million for it, but, you know, we may not even have wanted $20 million in the first place. Like, we may not have wanted all those, you know, super modern warfare type elements, like, in an RPG at all. Like, but, but, but a publisher would have wanted those things. But would you guys be interested, like, in a more old school RPG, like, without, like, voice acting, like, every other line or, like, you know, fucking, like... 30 minutes of rendered movies like 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 or would you guys rather just rather have like an rpg with a lot more flexibility and with wasteland 2 like they they were willing to put forth like over three million dollars to say yes and they also said that they would like to spend more than more than 60 dollars for a game like that like that's that's a great system and it's been very liberating to to actually be able to talk frankly with players about like hey what your vision is like how you imagine like the uh the hud to be set up and the game camera like like a few like i think over a month ago we released like the the vision document for wasteland 2 we just released that to the public that is not something that we could have done with a publisher no publisher would have been on board with us releasing a vision document to the public and having them react to it like they would not have seen an advantage with that. But with Kickstarter and, and player backing, you can share more things like that. You can actually have a conversation with the community. Like, you can talk about things that you're doing well or things that you're not doing well. And you can be really honest about that stuff. And some publishers would never want you to say any of that stuff at all. And I don't think players are stupid. Like, they know when you're doing something wrong or they know when you need a course correct and you're not delivering to their expectations. Kickstarter allows you to have that dialogue with the players, and that's been hugely refreshing. Oh, and they're certainly not afraid to tell you when you're misstepping. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. That's great. I, I, I would rather know that, like, one month into the process than three months before ship. Like, that's just fucking retarded. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 